Hey fellas, how you doing? Happy Friday. I'll show you what we got going on over here. All kinds of people working, all kinds of trucks. People are, uh, I don't know if you know much about uh, the culture down here in the Southwest. Uh, Mexican culture mixed in with uh, uh, European culture or American culture. Our, our blended culture we spin today. Uh, I know that my uh, wife's family spends the day, uh, they get into like a, a pretty decent group of uh, women and they'll go off to all the different places shopping. So that's what's uh, going on now. Uh, my eye is doing quite a bit better. Uh, no more blurry spots, not much pain. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is uh, to say thank you. <laughs> That's a long way to say and happy Friday. Uh, thank you for all the kind comments. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, you know what? What happened at the house, I'm, if the other guy drops it, I may or may not drop it. If I believe it can, if the, if the detective calls it mutual combat, then I guess if I want to pursue it, it becomes a civil matter. But other than that, and I didn't realize today that after I let my guard down and got popped in this eye right here, and what happens is the blood, it's not the first time I've had one of these, it, the blood uh, seeps down in here and pools down here, so it's just taking a little bit of time for my uh, body to uh, get it out of there, and you can tell by my nose I've been... Uh, it's been broken a few. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what what my wife told me this morning when we were out walking is that uh, even after I turned and walked away, he still wouldn't leave, and she had to tell him to leave a few more uh, times. So that is what it is. Um, other than that, it's we're having. A, it's a great. It's beautiful out. It's uh, clear blue skies. Uh, there's lots of people out working, fixing things, doing things. Uh, people are enjoying this as a long weekend. Uh, most of my wife's family's all together. My wife's here with me. Uh, I, I don't have big plans or anything like that. Oh, what I did find is um, how I was getting screwed and what brought all of this problems to a head was the floor. And what I ended up, what had, what they had uh, given me from uh, Liberty Mutual, given us, uh, to fix this floor. And I'll try to show you the, the bumps in the floor. It, you can hopefully see the little, like, where the boards come together, there's all these, like, little bumps that don't, where it's smooth. There, over here, there's a lot of uh, bumps. And that's what they're talking about trying to replace so what I measured was between uh, this corner to this corner is six and a half feet. And from the front door all the way back to about here, where is the last board feet, because there's no, no none of them here, is about 20 feet. So it's six and a half times 20, so it comes to a... 150 square feet of a board and uh, what they try to do to stick it to you is they get you to sign the estimate and that means you're not only signing the estimate but you're approving the work what they wanted to do is tear up the entire floor from where I'm sitting at in the front of the house all the way from this corner all the way there all the way to there and there and back and insurance company gave me uh, to get all of this done is about thirty nine hundred dollars now uh, those need to be fixed the wall up here needs to be fixed um, needs to be repainted so you include all of this work and the floor it's well over um, $3,900. But to sign the contract, I would have been on the hook for it. And what we were having problems with is the guy that was here, he was telling me that they're going to have to replace all this insulation. And I'm like, well, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the insulation. And nobody took any 
insulation out of the walls. So, I, and he just would get absolutely, and then he wanted to uh, include the floor, air floor, and they would replace it with, they said, uh, what did they tell me? Uh, they told me they were going to send the board, they sent the board off to their laboratory in Florida, which was funny. And because it was so unique and so hard to find and da 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 and I'm just thinking practical. And I said, so, and this is after I gave them one of the boards, which they've never given back. Anyways, um, so what I figured out is from here to here to there to the edge is about square feet. Now on eBay, I got a guy that says, yeah, we got those boards, no problem, easy fix. He's in Canada. I asked him for, a, what, $150, uh, 150 square feet would cost. He said it's $6 a foot plus shipping. The only problem is it's not a big enough order to, um, he wants me to wait and lump it in with another order, which I don't have a problem with at all. So I think it's probably, what's, uh, let me do the math, uh, Six dollars times six dollars times one fifty. It's nine hundred dollars, and then I think let's say another nine hundred dollars for shipping. So for eighteen hundred dollars, I can I can get the wood here to the house, and then I can just at, at my leisure get a contractor to come in and do the floors, and I'll get an expert that does that. Um, what else am I going to get? I still have to get the, you know, we're trying to put a Christmas, we can't put a Christmas tree up and all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's, it's just a pain in the ass. But again, uh, um, not focusing on the negative, focusing on the positive. We're going to move forward. This will be all behind us in a couple days. Um, I cannot tell you. I think the hardest part for me is, is I got my uh, ego damaged because I take great pride in practicing and defending myself and to get sucker punched is just, it's, and I'm always harping and some of the guys even in the comments told me, you know, I'm always harping at guys, you got to keep your guard up, keep your guard up at all times, man, protect yourself at all times. And I didn't do it and I got clipped. Um, is it life altering for me? No. Is this the first time I've been in a fight? No, I'm well up there in the amount of fights I've been into, but it's just... I mean, if a guy would do something like that in, in my home, what's to keep him from doing it in somebody else's home? So, uh, uh, No, YouTube did not tell me to take the video down. My attorney, one of the attorneys I have, has told me to take the uh, video down. So I did. Uh, other than that, everything here is fine. going to watch some football, eat turkey till I fall asleep on the uh, couch again. <laughs> And just relax and have a good time. Watch some football, maybe play a game or something like that. No drama. Um, a few gifts. But, you know, one of the things I think they're doing, but this is my best guess, I don't think they're lowering the prices on anything. I think they're keeping the prices the same and just putting it, at, they're saying it's a reduced price. You know, like um, a month ago, a flat, uh, 50 inch flat screen TV was what? $300, $299.99 out the door at Walmart. And now for the Black Friday thing, all they do is change the, the uh, um, advertisement on the TVs, you know, give it today's date and say, Black, uh, what do they call it? Black Friday special, $299.50 inch TVs. It's the same price. It's just different marketing things. Basically, they're legally lying to us. So, other than that, just having a good time, having a good day. I wear uh, dark glasses when I went out for the walk. I'm uh, in between sets now. Uh, lifting today is, I'll show you the House of Gains. I'll take you back to the House of Gains. I'm, in, I'm not picking up the gym anymore. I'm not trying to pick the gym up anymore. I just want to stay strong. Uh, here, that's my uh, warm-up weight. I do um, four sets of warm-up, and then I'll increase the weight uh, for flat bench, and then I'll do a uh, bench. Uh, four sets, and then I, I can't do the decline, but what I'll do is I'll wait, and I'll uh, hold it between my palms and my hand. I'll wait like this. It's usually a 25-pound weight, an Olympic weight like this, and I'll hold it between my hands, and I'll push it out, up, 
here, I'll push it out up at this angle, back and forth through the chest, straight out, and then down for the decline. Um, other than that, I'll do my knife drills and stuff like that. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm wasting your time. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you got to take care of yourself. You're the prize, gentlemen. Love you, miss you. Going to look out for you when I can. And you know what? Today, since the, the markets have been closed, I'll go over and uh, a little bit later, I'll do the dividend reinvestment plan stocks. So they're not changing. The market's not open today. It's not going to be open tomorrow or anything else like that. I think we made a little bit of money, like $100 or something like that, but nothing too drastic. And soon, next week, we'll be adding Mercury Insurance to our portfolio. Um, that's it from me, like a fart in a G-string, from West Texas, El Paso. Here, I'll show you one of the uh, posters I have on my wall that a guy drew for me when I was in the military. Uh, that's one of the posters of me. That's my clan. That's me putting up. What is that? Is that? Wait, how many? How many is that? Is there four of those? Is that eight 45-pound plates? What? That's me when I was a young guy. That's at a, a course called Advanced Access and Disassembly. That's me holding the guide on. That's me. Where am I? That's me with the hat pulled down over my eyes. That's me down there in the front. Right there. Um, that's with me when I thought those were my sons. <laughs> that's me in the middle. It's me over there. That's me at an ammunition supply disaster in the Naco Valley in Honduras. Uh, anyways, uh, this is when I was a Mason. Uh, that's the part of the Masonic. I was in the uh, Scottish Rite. And uh, when I got up there, pretty high in the Masons, uh, there was one of the... Uh, Things they asked me to do that I just couldn't agree with, and uh, I walked out. I don't have anything bad to say about the Masonic Order. Um, it's just I'm not prepared to uh, say or do something that I believe is against my belief system. So that's that. Um, enough for me. <laughs> you guys, I didn't mean to go off on a tangent. Again, like a fort in a G-string, West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.